So in this video I'm going to talk about the Facebook uh, integration with uh, Kadia's team. Uh, as you can notice here uh, we have uh, an option that says uh, do you want to add uh, Facebook open graph tags? By default is enabled. If you do wonder what uh, what these uh, op open graph uh, tags are, you can just uh, open the website, uh, click on the view source, and scrolling a bit down, you should see some um, meta tags with um, a few automatically generated uh, uh, data. Now. As you can see, these uh, these uh, tags are used by uh, Facebook. They're somehow um, adapted for uh, Facebook uh, search and uh, feed uh, uh, engine. And uh, if someone uses a share button, or uh, I don't know, they just copy the link and share it on their Facebook, or like the page or I don't know these uh, these uh, informations will appear on the on Facebook I mean Facebook by default can just uh, crawl your website and can automatically scan and take some I don't know some strange data that is not uh, is not defining your website so uh, this is actually uh, okay to have in my opinion you should uh, leave them uh, by default enabled and for a better integration you should uh, generate uh, uh, an application ID for Facebook to get one you can uh, look inside our uh, documentation but you can also just simply search in Google how to get a Facebook uh, app ID even Google uh, has some uh, quick recommendations but there are very very uh, plenty of uh, resources on how to uh, I don't know at least find this uh, Facebook application uh, ID code so for the moment this is it if you have some other uh, suggestions please do not confuse this part with uh, the share buttons or like buttons or something like this uh, this is only related to this uh, um, integration for uh, yeah integration with uh, with facebook so that's about it thanks for uh, thanks for uh, watching and um, see you in the next one bye